Are there proprioceptors in the ligaments? Yeah, according to the literature, in ligaments, muscles, tendons, bone. I'm not sure if they say it in the literature, but fascia. Yeah. Depends what literature you're reading. What do you say? All, every cell is proprioceptive. Every cell? Huh? Every cell is proprioceptive. It has to know where it is if it's going to communicate with anything, anybody else. So we talk about initiating movement in any cell in the body. Mm -hmm. We talk about breathing in every cell or any cell. But the traditional word that means it's proprioceptive it has to do with the skeletal muscular system. The proprioceptors and the tendons are sensitive to the, to the degree of stretch in the tissue and to the speed of the change. So the muscles, connective tissue and connective tissue end up is more about timing in part, where in the joint proprioceptors and the ligaments, they, they don't pay attention to time in the same way, but they're really sensitive to the degree of stretch. And the degree of stretch in the tissue tells the joint something about the relationship between the bones. So that's one of the difference between what the muscles and the tendons are sensing and what the ligaments are sensing. That the ligaments are sensitive to space more than to the rate of change. And what about bone, the proprioceptive function of the bone? The, as, what about bones? And the proprioceptors in the bones are more sensitive to pressure, to weight. And fascia? I don't know about fascia. Probably the amount of stretch. The fascia can mean a lot of things, so I would think it would depend on what tissue the fascia was in. Unless Bonnie has a sense. Oh, I always can make something now. <laughs> I don't know what the books are saying, but I, actually, what Amy is saying is what the literature is saying. And that's really important to know. And it's true. It's a reality. The proprioceptors are feedback mechanisms that give us information about what the body is doing. From a BMC perspective, we are looking at the proprioceptors as the initiator of these systems, rather than the feedback. They're both. So where the, um, the Golgi tendon organ is the proprioceptor, is the name of the proprioceptors and the tendons, they're considered to be time-oriented. In a BMC pers perspective, they initiate the time. They're not just giving you feedback. I should say it a different way. They can initiate the timing. They are not necessarily. The ligaments give you um, feedback on how much stretch or the distance between the bone at that particular part. So if you're compressed on one side, this ligament's going to be longer and this ligament's going to be shorter. From a BMC perspective, it's how do you find those, those proprioceptors to set the distance between the bones. Mm -hmm. So they're not only giving you feedback, they are setting the space. Here I'm not aware of my ligaments. They're, they're there, I didn't, they didn't go somewhere, but I'm not so aware of them. But I'm, just to look at my consciousness, I'm not mm -hmm. going to look, I'm going to look out because I can't look at you. You tell when I felt mm -hmm. my ligament. Just of my elbow, but it spread. So if your hand was on my foot, you would have felt when I felt this. Now, this, first of all, I have more difficulty here, but can you see that I'm more aware over mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean I don't see you. Now I see you better. And all I did was go to the ligament, the <coughs> proprioceptors, of the ligaments of my of the collateral ligaments of my elbow, but letting that travel through the fascial planes. 